things are feeling like an uphill battle at the minute, then trust that this reading has found you for a reason. Spirit team, take over. Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck to start off with. And I never really read from the bottom first, but I feel this is really important for this message because this is all about where you invest your energy, where you invest your effort, your time, everything. And that's super important because if things are feeling like an uphill battle, if things are feeling like you're forcing them, then they are not meant to be, okay? Things are not supposed to feel that difficult. Spirit team, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. See, there's a wish fulfillment coming. There is a wish fulfillment coming that is a new beginning. And this could be in a form of a new idea, uh, in a form of a new project. Whatever is coming to you right now, if, if the things that you are doing currently, as I say, are feeling like an uphill battle, then it's time for a change. It is time for you to reassess what it is that you want to be doing right now in your life. Because I feel like there's something bigger here. There is something better and bigger that's more in alignment with who you are and where you want to be. Especially on, a, on an emotional level. Nine of, um, nine of Swords in reverse. You're coming out of this period of heightened anxiety, heightened, you know, mental, just anguish. Right now, you may be in the midst of it. Right now, you may be feeling really overwhelmed, really panicky even as i say that anxiety is really coming up coming over me heavily right now when channeling this energy but this is because you are literally being prepared for this brand new beginning so do not be afraid to take a leap of faith do not be afraid to take a risk towards something new something better something that is more fulfilling to you literally night of one something that fills you up with passion something that you are passionate about this is all about you following your, your passion, you taking the action. But this has to come after the period of rest, okay? So right now, if you feel like you're forcing a lot of things, take a step back. Take a step back and rest with the Four of Swords here. Meditate on where it is that you need to be heading next. Really tune in with your intuition, really listen to your intuition. As I say, just stop trying to force things that are not supposed to be forced. The Emperor. You are the leader of your own life, remember that. You are the most powerful creator of your own reality. Take the lead. Take the lead on what it is that you want to be doing next, what it is, what it is that you see yourself, and create that identity. Really come into, I don't even know how to describe it, but be at one with who you are, who you want to be. Bring that version of yourself right into the present moment, right into the here and now. Because that's that's going to be the emotional fulfillment that you're looking for. This will help you balance out your feminine and your masculine energies, especially when it comes to your emotion. So this is all about you pouring into yourself and you becoming more emotionally aware and more emotionally mature in order to reach the next phase of your life, in order to reach the, the goals that you have set out for yourself that right now may seem like they're so far away into the future, but I promise you they're not. They are literally around the corner, but this is all required for you to really, really tune in with yourself on an emotional level, on a spiritual level. 